Yeah, I know. Sorry. This is where technically. All right. Let's have a quick look then. We're looking at the distal end of Magnus here. You can see the tendon coming down to the adductor tubercle. Now, the biceps femoris short head is also visible here as well. So this is semi, oh sorry, semi, this is vastus lateralis here, and this is biceps femoris short head. So the long head has been removed, short head is still there, coming from the linear aspera down to the head of the fibula. Now, the thing is though, if in doubt, if there's something pinned in this region of the thigh, say Magnus. If, you, if you're not sure what it is, it's probably Magnus, because if there's anything else, you should be sure, it should be clear. If you're not sure, it's probably Magnus. It's visible through the hamstrings, in between the hamstrings. It's visible from a medial point of view and sometimes even an anterior point of view here before you get to gracilis if you're moving from um, lateral to medial. So Magnus is probably what it is. Now we can also see here the quadriceps tendon, so just above the patella. So there's the quadriceps tendon. Of course, it's the patella ligament or tendon inferior to the patella. So this is the quadriceps tendon here. And then vastus medialis obliquus is this inferior part of vastus medialis. And in theory, those muscle fibres are more on an angle than these other more vertical fibres. But, but I haven't always found that to be true when looking at them on specimens. So see what, see what you think when you have a look at it. But if I were to pin down here, I would want you to say vastus medialis obliquus, not just vastus medialis. Now the pes anserinus we're not going to be able to see, but we'll look for that on some knee specimens later on. And again, laterally, is the iliotibial band or tract. If there was more fascia here covering vastus lateralis, and of course there is until someone removes it, so if on one of the specimens there's more fascia here, not just this thick iliotibial tract, that's the fascia lata. Okay, it covers all of the quads, not just this lateral part of vastus lateralis. So the iliotibial band or tract is a thickening of the fascia lata that's here on the lateral aspect. But if there's more fascia here, that's the fascia lata.